Hi, I'm Danielle the Clay Lady. Welcome to my studio on the Clay Ladies campus in Nashville, Tennessee. Today's lesson is going to be how to throw a cylinder. When you first sit at the wheel, everything wants a bowl. The centripetal force wants a bowl, your clay wants a bowl, the leaning of your body wants a bowl. That's why in college, your first project is to make a cylinder. I'm going to show you a couple helpful hints on making a cylinder. This is about a four pound ball of clay. When you have a large piece of clay and you're further out on your wheel head, you don't need your wheel speed as fast as if you had a smaller piece of clay. So we want our wheel speed to be a little faster than medium, but not all the way topped out. When I teach centering, I teach to lock your elbow in, have your heel of your hand on your clay, have the top fist pushing down and push in. But on a larger piece of clay, it's good to do what I call the push-pull. Lock your elbow, lean your whole body in, and then your outside hand pulls. Then you can go back to this position. A larger piece of clay takes a little bit longer to center. But we all know that centering is the most important part. You know, if I didn't center this, and I went ahead and started opening here. If you look, you can see this side of my clay is gonna be way wider and thicker than this side. So if you don't center, and when you open in the middle, one side will be thicker, one side will be thinner. That means that thick side will pull up higher, it'll belly out more, and you'll never have an evenly shaped pot. We wanna make sure that our clay is centered, and then we want to start opening. Now before we open, we want to check and make sure that our base is as wide as we need the bottom of our cylinder. A taller cylinder needs a wider base. So maybe I want to adjust the shape a little bit, push a little bit more on the top to widen out the base to make sure I have plenty of clay at the bottom of my pot. I'm going to open. As soon as I hit fresh clay, I'm going to get a pool of water. I'm going to cut in to the heel of my hand. Normally at this hand position, you would be flattening your fingers into the palm of your hand. But what we're going to do is we're going to keep our hands crooked, lock in our outside hand, and lift, doing our first pull on the left side of the pot. As soon as your hands get dry, you want to get water and go back to where you were. We can get a lot of height on our cylinder with just that one step. After we compress the bottom, we'll start pulling up. I wanna make sure that the bottom is flat, that I have a definite corner between the bottom of my pot and the wall of my pot. And we're gonna do our first pull. Now, if I look at my inside pot, my inside pot already has a good cylinder shape. But if I look at the outside of my pot, there's a lot of clay down here. What we wanna do is get that clay lifted up into the wall of the pot. I'm gonna hold my outside hand at the bottom of the pot until I create a little shelf. Once I get that shelf, then I can start lifting my hands. My inside hand is a little bit higher than my outside hand. My thumb is resting on my outside hand, so really all I have to be thinking about is my outside hand. As soon as I get to the top, I wanna to roll over and reset that rim. Now because everything about this process meant wants to make a bowl, sometimes the rim will be wider than you want it to be. That's when we need to collar. Usually with the cylinder we want to pull up, collar it back, pull up, collar it back. Now because my cylinder is taller, my hands are unable to touch each other. So I do what I call the salute. The salute is when you take the hand that's on the inside of your pot and you pull the elbow up in the air and you put your thumb in the palm of your hand and you give a salute. Then you pull the hand down into the pot. This creates a tension in your arm so that it has good support as you're pulling up. Again, my inside hand is a little bit higher and this time I do have to think about what my outside hand is doing, but I'm also keeping my eye on that inside hand to make sure it's opposite of my outside and a little bit higher. As soon as my hands can touch, I lower my elbow, lower my shoulders, and pull up. So even as practiced as I am, see that rim? 
We're going to push that back in. Let's give it one more pull. I'm going to really dig in underneath to get the last remnants of that clay and we're going to do a nice pull. Ideally, in the pottery community, they say that a pull on a pot, that your throwing rings should be back and forth, and that actually it should only take you three to four pulls. That's a little fast for me. I like to say six, seven, eight, but if you go beyond that, if you're constantly pulling up, what will happen is you'll be adding so much water to the clay that it'll actually start slaking down, it'll start shrinking. So we want to be sure and marry our wheel speed and our hand speed. We want to make sure that we're pulling up as quickly as we can, but we're not missing parts of the pot. It's time for the final look. I want to make sure that my base is wide. To make the outside of my pot nice and straight, I can use my rib. I want to make sure it's wet that I'm using the bevel. I'm not going to be using the flat of my finger on the inside and pushing like this. I'm going to be having my rib on the outside. My inside hand is going to be slowly moving up the side of the rib. I'm going to slow my wheel down. There's going to be a little bit of friction because there's not as much water. Smooth this out. That's how to throw a cylinder.